What's up guys? It is I, once again, Yusuf El Sened, and today guys, I want to review the 2015 Pixar animated feature length film, The Good Dinosaur. After having seen Pixar's Inside Out, which I really, really love, that is actually one of the best films I've seen this year, among my top five favorites, and it's actually my favorite Pixar film of all time, and after having seen it, I was so excited, pumped, and dying to see The Good Dinosaur, and this is the first time that Pixar have released two movies in just one year, and guys, I am so happy to say that I love, love, love the good dinosaur. This movie is absolutely wonderful and to be clear, uh, the good dinosaur is not as personal to me nor as great as Inside Out is, but it's still a great film on its own and the good dinosaur is such a fantastic film which was directed by Peter Son and uh, written by Meg Lufo. The story is about uh, a prehistoric time in which uh, in a alternate timeline where uh, the uh, the meteorite never made contact to Earth, which which originally caused the extinction of the dinosaurs, it passed by Earth safely, and how uh, the dinosaurs continue to live on and actually create their own civilization. And millions of years later, the story focuses on one particular family, a Apatosaurus family that consists of. Uh, 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 Papa, uh, Papa Henry, played by uh, Jeffrey Wright, and Mama Ida, played by Frances McDormand, who gives birth to uh, three children. Those three kids are Buck, uh, Libby, and Arlo. Each of the three kids are given these tasks to do by their father, and Buck and Libby are able to hold their own and do their task properly, whereas Arlo cannot because Arlo is very scared, timid, and frightened by just about anything, and uh, he fails to do his task, which actually prevents him from making his mark on this family, uh, this family place where they uh, plant their corn, which they grow from the. Uh, from the field, uh, this cornfield, and uh, he, it's very hard for him to do that because he is scared. And uh, Papa Henry wants to uh, uh, help Arlo get over, he, overcome his fear. To do that, he asks uh, uh, he asks Arlo to uh, guard the, uh, the the family place where they stock all their corn and uh, from these critters and uh, Arlo feels at that and he realizes that the uh, critter is actually a cave boy, a young cave boy who's very wild and one day he gets separated from his family and how uh, he's stranded in the uh, wilderness and how he meets up uh, with the, the, the young wild boy uh, who he uh, eventually nicknames Spot and uh, at first uh, Arlo can't, uh, uh, he can't uh, uh, see eye to eye with uh, the wild boy, no uh, spot, nor can he uh, talk with him because there's a huge language barrier between the two and how both have a hard time communicating. But despite that, uh, Arlo is able to let go of whatever grudge he has for the wild boy spot and he's able to connect with him it, almost like how a boy or girl connects with their pet. That relationship right there is the heart and soul of this uh, movie and I really do love this film guys. This movie has a lot of heart, a lot of soul and the story, besides the story being so great and so fantastic and the uh, chemistry between Arlo and the young boy it is just so much fun to watch. Besides that, this film looks beautiful, guys. This is by far one of Pixar's best looking film, if not their best looking. And I really do love this film because it has such great characters, such a great story. I really do love this movie. Everything about it, from the visual effects, to the animation, to the characters, the story, the themes of learning to overcome your fears and moving on, trying to be your 
one person and how uh, Arlo and Spot bond with each other. Everything about this movie is so great. It has a lot of other great characters as well. Such characters like this uh, Tyrannosaurus family. The Tyrannosaurus family that Arlo and Spot meet are played by Sam Elliott, Anna Paquin, and AJ Buckley. And they are so great as their characters. I really do love their dynamic and their stories they have to tell. And uh, there's also a, uh, a group of pterodactyls, one of who is played by Steve on and he's a great baddie in the film I really was scared from his character a lot but guys the best aspect about this movie which I found so intriguing is the fact that this movie is several other genres it's a Western at first it's a drama it's a, a family film it's also a film about survival and how the real enemy of this movie is mother nature and how our low and spot have to overcome these obstacles whether it be nature or the pterodactyls. There's a lot of obstacles that all low and spot have to overcome to get back home. And this movie is so amazing, guys. I just love it so much. Inside Out is a masterpiece in my eyes. I consider it be Pixar's best film. But guys, The Good Dinosaur is such a great film. I had so much fun watching this movie. There were times I was crying. There were times I was laughing, smiling. I felt a range of emotion watching this movie. It's such a beautiful film with a beautifully well-told story. The animation looks outstanding. It looks beautiful. Everything about this film is just magnificent, guys. It's uh, it's actually one of my favorite films this year so far and I can't wait to see more from Pixar and what more movies they have to make. Pixar have always been good at telling stories that have heart and soul and amazing characters you can relate to. Even their films that aren't that great like Brave or Cars 2 or any films like that, I really do love them. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more from me, check my, out my gaming channel. I'll put the link for that in the description box down below. Until next time, peace out, take care. Adios amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.